Since version one of the SharePoint framework was released in 2017, we've always had the local workbench. You know what I mean? You type gulp serve and then HTTPS localhost 4321 appears and you have a kind of mini SharePoint for showing and testing your web part. So you upgraded your project to version 1.13 and it all stopped working. The local workbench is dead. Long live the online workbench. So what happened? So from version 1.13 onwards, it set the precedent for future releases, removing the local workbench and only having the online workbench. But why the change? Although the local workbench was useful for a quick start, it lacked the ability to interact with online content like SharePoint lists and other items, document libraries, etc. And that rendered it quite redundant as your project scaled. So what do we do now? What if we want to run and test our web part locally? Well, now we can use the online workbench so we can see it in the context of a live environment. And all we need to do is make a slight modification to the serve.json file. So if you've upgraded one of your older projects, you'll see it's looking to localhost temp and then to workbench.html. We need to change this to our online tenancy and then underscore layouts and then workbench.aspx. So here's a demo in my local tenancy. I'm going to change it from localhost to Robert's Dev Talk and run it. And we can see what it looks like. Now, if you haven't got your own tenancy, please see the video. I'll link it below. And this will take you to how to get your own development environment free of cost from Microsoft. So now when you run Gulp Serve, you actually go to your real tenancy and you can test it against all the lists that are in the site that you've set your URL in serve.json to. And what's really cool about it now is that if you paste the following to the end of a URL of your live site, you can add your web part within your live pages for testing. Notice if you get an HTTPS certificate error here, you just need to run Gulp Trust Dev Cert again for Mac OS and Windows. For Linux, it's a bit more difficult, but I'll do a separate video about that in a few weeks. So now the local workbench is gone, we can now create our web parts and test them in a real environment, which is awesome. So rest in peace, the local workbench. Long live the online workbench. If you've enjoyed this video, then please do give us a like. And if you like this kind of content, then do make sure you subscribe and ring that bell icon so you never miss out on a video. And if you want to join us on our developer journey, see the link below. And if you're feeling generous, buy us a coffee. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for your time. Happy coding. We'll see you next time.